Is Windows RT dead? Is the desktop going away? What's Threshold got to do with it? Hi, I'm CTN Technology News and today I'm talking about the future of Windows. Now when Microsoft announced its new One Microsoft restructuring a little while ago, a lot of people expected that that meant that all of Microsoft's various platforms, Xbox, Windows Phone, Windows 8, they would all be combined into one. Now, while this might be the case, I'm inclined to think that this isn't going to be exactly what's going to happen. What I'm expecting to happen is what we're already seeing. The Windows NT Core is now the cart of Windows Phone 8, Windows 8, Windows RT, and Xbox One operating system. These platforms share some, but not all, application programming interfaces and developer tools. As Microsoft completes its blue wave of deliverables with the Windows Phone 8.1 Blue release in the spring of 2014, the company will inch a step closer towards enabling more Windows APIs on Windows Phone. Then with Threshold, the next Windows wave following Blue, which starts rolling out around spring of 2015, Microsoft will increase the footprint of the common Windows core shared by phones, tablets, and PCs. Windows SKUs or versions will continue to differ based on platform, so I don't think we'll be seeing just one operating system running all three, or, but I, you know, I think that there will be a lot of common functionality between them. Some of the form factors will also probably run a single Windows SKU, but others will run or have the choice of running two different Windows SKUs, like a Home or Pro operating system in the case of PCs. There are some obvious questions, like with regards to apps and backwards compatibility, but the fact is with regards to that, so long as Microsoft is careful to make sure there's a support story for the existing Windows Phone and Windows Store apps that users have already purchased, they can essentially do whatever they want with Windows apps in the future. If they want to combine them into a single app store, that would work, or they can keep it separate as they are right now. Another question is about the desktop environment that allows users to run existing Win32 apps. Now, I don't expect this to go away anytime soon, as some people predict, because Microsoft wants and needs Windows XP and Windows 7 users to be willing to move to Windows 8. Now, lastly, another question is how will Microsoft differentiate Windows SKUs that include the desktop environment and support legacy Win32 apps from those that don't? That's probably the most important question here, and to be honest, I really don't know. Microsoft hasn't revealed it yet, and Windows RT was clearly not the answer, as even the top executives at Microsoft have confirmed. Now, the bottom line is that this transition won't be complete next year or even the year after, and the end result will likely be neither as simple as a single Windows SKU, nor as complex as 10 largely different flavors of Windows. Let me know where you'd like to see Windows go in the future in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!